Hello team. My name is Brett Gustafson. I'm a wireless business developer here at Altera. And today I'm excited to present the demo developed by Anker Vora, a network system solution engineer at Altera. In this session, we're going to showcase our innovative AI-based approach to addressing holdover scenarios in Precision Timing Protocol, PTP, a critical challenge in modern timing synchronization systems. Let's walk through the two operational states illustrated in the diagrams. On the left, we see a system in a synchronized state. In this mode, the system receives timing references, either one PPS, one pulse per second, or PTP, precision time protocol messages. These inputs allow the servo loop to dynamically adjust the, the digital phase lock loop, or DPLL, compensating for variations in the oscillator caused by temperature drift or aging. This continuous correction ensures that the system frequency remains stable and precise, enabling accurate time synchronization. On the right, we observe a system in a holdover state where synchronization has been lost. In this condition, the sync information is no longer received, and the servo stops adjusting the DPLL. As a result, the system frequency begins to drift, with natural instability of the oscillator potentially leading to timing inaccuracies over time. This scenario underscores the critical need for robust holdover mechanisms, one that can maintain frequency stability and minimize error when the system is temporarily isolated from a synchronization source. In the synchronized state, as shown on the left diagram, the system receives sync info, either 1PPS or PTP, which is processed by the servo in the AI model. The AI model is trained with data from the servo and additional environmental inputs, allowing it to generate precise frequency control signals. These signals adjust the DPLL, or digital phase lock loop, to compensate for variations in the oscillator caused by temperature changes and aging, ensuring a stable and accurate system frequency. In the holdover state, as depicted in the right diagram, the sync info is no longer received, and the servo becomes inactive. The AI model takes over the frequency control and uses environmental inputs to generate frequency control signals that compensate for any variations in the oscillator. This approach helps maintain system stability and accuracy even without external synchronization, highlighting the importance of a robust AI-based holdover mechanism. This slide presents two different AI-based approaches to mitigate holdover scenarios. First is multi-layer perceptron, or MLP, and second is long, short-term memory, LSTM. On the left, we have the MLP-based approach. This system uses a multi-layer perceptron composed of fully connected, or FC, layers. The MLP processes input data in a feed-forward manner, from input to output and learns through back propagation to minimize prediction error. It generates a frequency control signal using features extracted from the servo and oscillator-related rela oscillator sensor data. One of the key benefits of this approach is its lightweight implementation, making it well-suited for existing SOC systems or deployments with limited on-chip resources. On the right, we say the LSTM-based approach, this system leverages long, short-term memory networks, which are particularly effective at handling sequential and time series data. LSTMs maintain state over time through recurrent connections and use input, forget, and output gates to manage information flow and gradients. They generate adaptive frequency control signals for the DPLL during holdover based on temporal patterns in the oscillator's behavior. Thanks to their predictive robustness, LSTM architectures are well-suited for mission-critical systems where they can be effect efficiently deployed using FPGA fabric for both accuracy and reliability. This slide outlines the value proposition of integrating AI into timing synchronization systems, highlighting the key advantages over traditional approaches. First is cost efficiency. Traditional systems rely on high-stability OCXOs, which average around $100 when in volume. In contrast, 
AI models enable the use of low-cost TCXOs, typically around $10, while still achieving comparable timing stability. This shift offers significant cost savings, especially when at scale. Second, we have adaptability. Traditional timing solutions are optimi often optimized for static, predefined environmental conditions. AI models, however, are capable of adapting in real time to environmental changes such as temperature, voltage fluctuations, and aging, extending their effectiveness across a device's lifetime. Third, we have power efficiency. OCXOs consume, ne consume nearly one watt of power due to internal heating requirements. By eliminating the need for this heating, AI-enabled systems using TCXOs can reduce power consumption by approximately one watt per oscillator, making them ideal for power-sensitive deployments. Last, we have maintenance and longevity. Traditional solutions require calibration to maintain timing accuracy. AI models, especially LSTM-based architectures, can learn and predict aging effects, dynamically adjusting frequency control without the, manual need, without the need for manual recalibration, thereby reducing maintenance, overhead, and extending the system longevity. In summary, AI introduces cost-effective, adaptive, and energy-efficient solutions for precision timing with the added benefit of improved long-term reliability. Let's begin with the experimental setup. The hardware platform consists of the Altera Agilex SOC development kit interfaced with a PC via JTAG, UART, and Ethernet connections. On the software side, we use the FPGA AI suite for configuring and controlling hardware IP along with the OpenVINO model optimizer for converting and deploying AI models for inference. In the center section, we highlight the MLP-based approach. The plot in the video shows predicted clock drift, which is the red line, versus the actual drift, the blue line, generated using the MLP model. The model processes input data in a feed-forward direction, learning to minimize error by adjusting weights through back, back propagation. On the right, we showcase the LSTM-based approach. The video illustrates the predicted versus actual clock drift using a long, short-term memory LSTM model. LSTMs excel at processing sequential data, leveraging recurrent connections to retain long-term contextual information, enabling more accurate predictions over time. Together, these experiments demonstrate how both MLP and LSTM models can effectively track and predict oscillator drift, each with unique strengths depending on system requirements. This graph compares the performance of a traditional method versus an AI-assisted method during a one-hour holdover using a Temperature Compensated Crystal Oscillator, or TCXO. As shown, the AI-assisted approach significantly outperforms the traditional method in maintaining frequency stability throughout the holdover period. The AI model effectively compensates for oscillator drift by leveraging environmental inputs and learned behavior, reducing deviation and preserving timing accuracy. This result underscores a strong potential of AI to enhance both the performance and reliability of time-sensitive systems, particularly in scenarios where synchronization sources are temporarily unavailable. As I conclude this presentation, I hope you found our insights into AI-driven timing synchronization both valuable and thought-provoking. I want to thank you for your time, attention, and interest in our work, and we welcome any questions you may have and look forward to engaging in further discussions around this exciting and evolving space.